So here's a quick and easy one that I think everybody can implement right away is to end your sentences with an eye contact, especially when we're ruminating on something, we tend to look away naturally if we're overthinking or we tend to look at the person too long and that's a little bit creepy or awkward. So what I tell people to do is that, yeah, you can go ahead and look away, but primarily at the end of the sentence, you want to look at somebody in the eyes. For example, yesterday I was actually going to the grocery store and then I found something, right? So as long as you look at them at the end of the sentence or at the end of the point you're making, you sound and you come across confident. How to speak with confidence even if you stutter, mumble, or slur. Hi, my name is Lady Tina Leader, and I am a communication life coach here on YouTube and outside of YouTube. So if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one or take one of my courses, check out the link in the description below. Another one that I've been struggling with lately is to not hide yourself. So for me right now, for example, my teeth are getting crooked because unfortunately, I did not wear my night retainers. But what I found myself doing is not smiling as much or do this awkward ha, 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 smile. I was looking at the mirror and I was like, wait, how does that actually look like? It looks really bad. So this is specifically if you are insecure about any part of your face or any part of your expression, let's say. If you're not trying to hide anything, then there's nothing to criticize. And they know that, and when I say they, people know that even if they try to criticize, this person's so confident, so they don't even care. And you're also signifying to yourself that you don't care. So it's like a psychological loop to yourself. This is for those of you who have verbal fluency issues. So if you ever had a time in which a word that you knew, you just couldn't, you couldn't think of the word and then you get stuck in your head and you're like, wait, what was that thing? What was that name? You're trying to remember something. That's a low verbal fluency state. If you want to learn more about that, I'll put a link down below. But what people have an issue with, and I've run into this with my clients is that while you're increasing your verbal fluency and there's ways to do that but while you're doing that you tend to get insecure and I run through this myself personally I've worked on my verbal fluency am I perfect absolutely not so this is what I use in the meantime don't be afraid to pause sit in that silence and slow down your whole body language even slow down your language if you're talking hmm can't quite remember what I was thinking about, but just give me one second and then ruminate and then think through. And usually it'll, it'll come. And if it doesn't come, then you can just admit and say, you know what? I'm going to have to get back to you on that, or I'm going to have to get back on that later on, right? And then it appears confident, even though you clearly got stuck in your words, you clearly forgot completely about something you were saying two seconds ago, and that's okay. So, so even while you're working on your verbal fluency, I highly suggest to work on your pause, being comfortable in that pause and slowing down your thoughts, slowing down your language and taking the time. Let's see. Okay, last but not least, I talk about this in my clear speech course and people get on me because it's such an overlooked thing, but it's so important. All right. So the mouth, neck and body posture, pay attention to what your mouth is doing at a resting state. So is it slightly open because you're a mouth breather? That doesn't appear very confident, right? And I do this all the time because I grew up mouth breathing, unfortunately. So I'm trying to actively correct that. And I did a whole video on that. So I'll link that below. But anyway, point is you want to be able to close your mouth comfortably. And that appears more confident than somebody who has a constant gap in their mouth. For example, neck, don't go too forward. Don't go too back. Make sure it's in a neutral position. People tend to do a lot of this, especially because we're working on our computers a lot or we're on our smartphones. So just be careful that you put your neck in neutral position. Body, it's very, everybody knows, have a good posture. And a 
part of having a good posture, yes, it looks aesthetically confident, but even if somebody doesn't see you, you're on the phone and they only hear your voice, people tend to be able to hear that you have a good posture because the resonance of your voice becomes very, very different. And a part of that is your breath work. Now, I talk about breath work in my clear speech course as well, but essentially you want to be able to breathe fully. When you run out of words because you ran out of breath and you have to be like, and then, and then, and then, like that breath thing that happens, the, and then, and then, so, and then, um, when you're doing filler sentence like that, it's because you're not really breathing properly. And your breath work also goes into the, uh, the melody of your c- communication. So if you're slow and good and everything's flowing out of your mouth, then you'll have a good uh, sense of when you breathe in, when you exhale, and the timing in which you exhale the words on. And it, it can get really technical, but generally speaking, for the purposes of this video, just pay attention to your breath. Pay attention to how much you breathe out and versus how much you inhale. And if you find yourself inhaling, inhaling, inhaling too much, then maybe you should look into slowing down your speech or increasing the capacity of your inhale because that could be a part of it too. All right, so I just wanted to put this out here, how to speak confidently, a very quick to-do video. I hope it's going to be just a simple thing that you can do on a daily basis. You can work on right away. And if you want to come back to this channel and work on other things, there are over a hundred videos on this channel. So please go through it and uh, just have a good time speaking and socializing and being the best authentically charismatic you. Um, Yeah, that's, that's what I want.